Hey there, Larry Stein with you again today. It's a cool day in South Texas, cooler than it's been, it's been 100 plus. Today it's only 85. We'll let people log on, we'll give a few minutes. Do we have sound? Anybody logging on? Couple people so far. Can they hear? Anything in the chat? Not yet. We'll wait a few more minutes before we start. It's not quite one. Still have people logging on? Good. Where are they logging on from? Sound is good? Might need to speak up a little bit. Oh. Microphone working? As long as it's green, it should be working. So can they hear? I know. Hello? Can you hear? Testing. One, two, three, four. Is that better? Okay, they say it's a little bit better. Okay, good. Good. All right, we'll wait one more minute before we start. One o'clock, we'll start here in a second. So that microphone is plugged in. Well, if it takes it out, just leave it out. People still logging on? All right, we're gonna wait one more minute and then we'll get started. We're gonna talk about pecan harvest today. Hope everybody's doing well. Hope you got some rain with the cold front. All we got was a bunch of dust. All right. Well, thank you all for tuning in today. And today we're gonna to talk about pecan harvest, harvesting pecans. You know, we started this journey way back in April. Probably about April 15th, we started on the journey and we showed you the, the flowers being pollinated. And then in August, we showed you thinning the crop. So today we're actually gonna harvest pecans. Uh, we'll show you harvesting pecans. And so if you look closely right here, you see these pecans starting to open up. See how the shucks, so the sutures have opened up. So these pecans are starting to open up. And so now is time to get these pecans out of the tree. Now today we have probably a 25 to 30 mile an hour wind coming out of the north. And so mother nature uses wind to bring them down. And so the ideal situation is to wait Till the pecans get like this right here where you see how the shucks are totally dry the shucks are totally dry so when you shake the tree or knock the pecans out they come right out and so you know they come off like so like that right there and so if we were all fortunate enough to be able to wait that long that would be an ideal system but a lot of people when they get to this stage right here is they'll just go ahead and pick them out of the tree which is no problem. So you can pick them out. You can pick the nuts right out of the shell. See how the shells are totally brown? That means they're totally filled out. And so what you can do is you can put them in a, you put them in a, a, a wooden basket. So you put them in a wooden basket and then they will dry in that basket. And so this is an ideal way to harvest pecans. I have a lot of growers that, you know, they don't, they say they're not, not harvesting pecans, they're pulling pecans. And so you just basically pull them out of the shuck, put them in a basket, and then you would be good to go. 
So then you take those same pecans that you pulled out of the out of the deal and you put them in a mesh bag. A mesh bag. This is a grapefruit bag. You see how it's meshed? You pour the pecans in there, hang it up in your garage, and they will dry. They will dry. And so you realize you can't take a pecan right off the tree and eat it. We're going to talk about eating pecans here a little bit later on. So some, some people pull pecans off the tree. Others have a long stick, a bamboo pole. You used to call it a Calcutta pole. My daddy and his grandpa used sycamore trees. You know, sycamore, they grow really strong, straight. And so sycamore trees, you can cut them when they're green and let them dry. And all you want to do is you want to hit the clusters. You want to hit the clusters. And so you knock these pecans out and you knock them out. And today we're actually knocking them on a sheet. So you can knock them on a sheet. Actually, we're using a shade cloth today. And so it works really well. You can do that. Now realize when you do these pecans like that, uh, you're going to get some that don't open up. You're going to get some that don't open up. Well, this one went ahead and opened up. But when you have these green shucks like this and you mess with them, notice you're going to get stains on your hands. And so there's a lot of people that freak out when you get a few stains on your hands, but they wear off right quick. My grandma used to tell my daddy, not everybody was fortunate enough to have stains on their hands when they uh, went to school. <laughs> so, um, so some people today use gloves. They use gloves. And so we have these gloves that you put on your hands, and they work really well. So anyway, you can knock some pecans out of the tree. What we're going to do now is we're going to show you shaking the tree. We're actually going to show you shaking the tree. And you're going to see that not all of them come down, but let me show you shaking the tree so you can get an idea of that. with a shaker with a pecan shaker is with certain trees you get some pecans off but you never get them all off so there's a lot of people that will come in with a stick and knock off the ones on the lower branches but as we walk, walk along see all the sticks that we get you get a lot of sticks you get a lot of shucks that don't open up so like here is a pecan that didn't open up this pecan is never going to open on the tree here is another one that didn't open up. Well, actually it did, so it, it's opening up. So when you shake the tree, you get leaves, you get pecans, you get sticks. And so you have some way of separating those out. And so commercially, we actually have a cleaner. We have cleaners that can be used. And so over here is a cleaner. We'll show you cleaning some pecans. And so notice, when you look at these pecans, you get some when you have them on the sheet that are not any good. And so you gotta pick these out. Some of y'all may remember I Love Lucy shows. And I Love Lucy, she, she did all kind of crazy stuff. But one time they showed her in a candy factory. And so these pecans are coming, the candy was coming and she couldn't get the bad ones out fast enough. And so we'll show you this running here but you have to have some kind of people picking the bad ones out. 
you always get a few that crack. So you throw those out, the cracks typically go out. And so that is the deal there. So let me turn this on and we'll show you how this particular instrument works. What happens is the pecans come up over an air leg. There's a fan blowing and that fan blows the light ones out. As you can see, there's instruments that will help you clean up your pecans. Commercially, there's instruments that do that. Most people that just have one or two trees, you know, you pull them off, you knock them on a, on a sheet, you pick them out, and then you have to dry them. Remember, we talked about the mesh sack. So you have a red mesh sack that you have them in, and you got to dry them for about a week until you can eat them. Now this particular pecan that we're looking at today is the Giat. We call it the Giat. And in Alsatian, that means the good. That means the good. So this is an old family native pecan. And uh, it shells out really, really well. It shells out 56% kernel. And so if I can get this bag open here, I'll show you these kernels right here. So this is the Giat. So there's a lot of native pecans out there in the wild that have really, really good eating quality. And so this is one that our family over the years propagated, and that's what we call it, the give. So these pecans here have been dried, and they're ready to eat. And the way you know they're ready to eat is that they snap in two. See how they snap in two? If they're green, if they're green, they don't snap. But if they snap, you know they're dry and you know they're ready to eat. So here is one. Here's a little different variety. It snaps and so it's it's ready to go as well. Can you spell that for them? That pecan? So the question is how do you spell the giet? So it's D-I-E-G-U-E-T and there's a umla on top of the U, the giet. And so that's Alsatian, that's the Alsatian language. Is how you when it means the good, the good. So, I would encourage you to buy some pecans this year. Eating pecans, eating pecans is healthy, especially if you eat them like this right here. Every, every Texan, every person in the United States should eat 10 of these half, 20 of these halves every day. And if you do that, that, it helps lower your bad cholesterol, doesn't lower your good cholesterol, and actually helps provide your body with that antioxidants and so I would encourage you to really eat a lot of pecans and so they can be really good. Good news about the crop this year is it's it's moderate in size but quality is outstanding. So I would encourage you if you like pecans go ahead and get some in the next few weeks and you should be good to go. Any questions?